Hey guys, and welcome back to Condemned. When we last left off, we had a freaking submachine gun. With 17 rounds. Wonderful. Now, let's keep going. What do we have? We can open these doors. Can we open this door? No, I guess not. Hmm... Can open both of these doors. Ah, look at this. Oh, hey, chap. Kind of be a shame to waste this on you. Kind of keep this gun for when we have multiple enemies at once. That sounds like a plan to me. Oh, what? Can we not go down? Down there? That's a shame. Well, oh, okay, I guess. Ooh. I guess we're not going back. Oh, hello. You little snake in the grass. What are you doing down there? And the bar is jibbing out. Excellent. And we're stuck. Stuck on the stiff. God damn it. Bloody stiffs in the way. Now can I move? There we go. Alright. Hmm. There's definitely a mysterious figure that's always literally a couple of feet ahead of us. It's kind of interesting. Hmm. Exit. We need the fire axe for that. Okay. Handle that. No running, kids. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Oh. So, have you seen a fire axe around here? I do really need one. And how comes we're back in the kitchen again? <laughs> really? Come on, buddy. Zap. I was going to say zap and boot, but okay. Suppose that's one way to get around. It wouldn't be my preferred method of moving, but uh, who am I to judge? Are you? You're back here waiting for me. Well, I wouldn't want to disappoint you now. Well, that wasn't as successful as I... Oh, hello. There you go. Have another one. Oh, ooh, she's got a cleaver. Well, she was anticlimactic. Oh... Juicy. Juicy. A cleaver. God damn it. But Okay. Oh, use cleaver. I see. There we are. Oh. 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 Let's use the cleaver. Zap. Oh, come on, man. You guys are so weak. Let's go see if anybody else is going to spawn. I'm assuming. Now you know what they say about assuming. But I'm assuming this uh, cleaver is fairly powerful. Hello! Uh, fairly powerful, I suppose. Right, let's leave that there. Let's go get our fire axe because we have to take the old uh, chin splitter. Which is a shame. I'd much have preferred to have been able to use the uh, cleaver because I think actually this is the only part of the game where you get the cleaver. I remember being very excited to have that thing. However, the chin splitter is um, just as much fun, to be fair.
Okay, my god, it actually takes him more time to get his breath back than it takes to get knackered out in the first place. Have a word with yourself, man. There we are. Here's Johnny. Right, let's take the cleaver. Who's about? No need to be shy. It's just a meat cleaver, guys. Basketball hoop, eh? A basketball hoop with an arm. Sure. Sure, why, why not? Why the hell not? Now, what's going on with your fingers? Transfer complete. Okay. It's Tibbetts. Fingerprints from his personnel file match the hand. Okay. Looks like the torturer got to him before we did. Well, okay then. Continue searching for Mr. Tibbetts. Well, I'm guessing... But well, okay then. I'm guessing the the guy is dead. Do you want to fucking go, son? Well, fuck knows where he's gone. Well, let's continue. Hey, nope, it's nothing. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep going. Hopefully we'll find some more monsters to slice up. I hope so. Ooh. Some health. One unit of health. Mm, fair enough. Right, let's keep slowly moving. Oh. Okay. Well, we sure as hell ain't going that way. And we're not going that way. So, where are we going? Hmm. Can we go under? Maybe? Nope. Where the heck are we going? Huh. Come on, Thomas. Use your brains. There must be something here. I mean, this looks... Oh. You know, you know the, the actual ladder is a bit of a giveaway. Just saying, like... Okay. Hey, this, is this a shower room? Kind of looks like one. Hmm. Guess we can go down. Oh. Is this a proper way into the basement, perhaps? Looks like it. You can hear flies. Are they behind. Oh, <laughs> it's like right in front of us. Okay. Ooh, hello. Oh. Really? It's an achievement. God damn it, Ethan. I thought we was on something there, man. I guess we've got to go back upstairs. So I wonder where the stiff could be. We found his lips. We found his arm. Where is he? Oh. Hello. Hello. Well, I guess he wasn't in the actual building then. Ah. Do we actually get to go to the playground? <laughs> Looks like it. Pretty weird ass school playground, if I'm being honest. 
Well, the children's ghosts are still having fun at least. Ah. Is that a fridge? It is. But there's nothing we can do with it. Ooh. Well, oh, hello. Tom is speaking. Hello. I just wanted to make sure you met me up front when we were done. I didn't want to interfere with the investigation, but... That's us. Okay, that is actually us. Who is that? That's the guy that keeps like being two steps ahead of us. Who the hell are you? Well, don't worry about it, Thomas. He hasn't got us yet. Oh, hey buddy. Have some zap. And now some slice. I love this visual image here. Ethan Thomas, ex-FBI agent, now carving bums up with a cleaver in a, like, school ground. <clears throat> I love it. Hey, buddy. Ow, ow, ow. I have a secret weapon. Your ass is mine now, boy. Oh, he's got no legs. Damn, what the hell? Oh, shit. Can you please not fire all of those bullets? What have you left me with? Twelve. You left me with twelve bullets, man. Dick. I thought I could hear another one. There we go. Might as well kill as many of these bums as we can. Cleaning the streets and all that. Oh, jump down. Okay. Oh, that was glass. I never would have guessed that. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, of course. This was the torturer. There's arms missing. And his mouth. Well, his lips are missing. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's a bit mental. Okay. Just covering our bases. Transfer data when ready. Well, I'm guessing he ran this way. Just a guess. Because it's the only way we can go. Uh, no body parts yet. Well then. So there is something here somewhere. Ah. Excellent. No need to hide, sir. No need to hide. Oh, hi. Anyone want to come out to play? I've got a taser, you know. Oh, there's a bird. Well, we'll take the bird. We're actually doing fairly well finding these birds, considering we're not going out of our way to do so. Uh, I don't really want to lock a door when we have a cleaver. I was just saying. Ha. Huh. Alright. It's too quiet around here. Haven't had any enemies for a while. Oh. Well, that's certainly welcome. And we've got one for later if we need it. Can we not go over here? Really? Hmm. Ah. 
Oh, whoa. Okay, then. Hey, buddy. You're fucked. You, sir. A similar level of fucked. I guess we're not the only one in here hunting these things. Hey, chap. Oh, you didn't have a gun for me. You loser. Damn it, don't drop the meat cleaver. I thought he might have at least had a gun for us. I'm sure, that's the least he could have had. Okay, well I'm guessing this might be the this might be the locker he's in. Not much new here. I'll run a DNA profile. You do that. The trail just ends at a bank of lockers. Thomas, have you looked inside? No, because Thomas is simple. There he is. So he died in his locker. There we go. I believe you found Mr. Tibbets. I believe we have too. It seems to match personnel file. It didn't come through properly though. Can you take a close up? Uh of course, why not? Why the devil not? Let's get a nice clear photo of the gore. I guess help, he's help me. I guess he's help not is on the way. Dead. Who did this to you? Carl Anderson. The torturer. Okay, Damn. take it easy. Do you know where he is now? Other man, King. <laughs> Well, to be fair, if this is what you've been doing to people, it's kind of what you deserve. Oh, shit. Rosa, send an EMT immediately. Damn. Two points of note. DNA taken from the hair matches current profile we've established for the guy who's been stalking you. The guy we're calling Serial Killer X. Also, there are some additional organophosphate particles present. Okay. Similar to the pesticide we found on the matchmaker's neck? An exact match. I've been running an analysis on those samples. It's azenfos methyl and is class one, highly toxic. Was previously used as an insecticide for all sorts of agricultural crops. Ah, I see. Now banned for domestic use and can only be used commercially by permission. This particular formulation includes some other trace chemicals and can be matched to a brand name called Applewell. Hmm. I've put in a contact to the company to see if we can get a purchaser's list. Applewell. Apples. Yes, as I said, it was used on all sorts of agricultural crops. Apples would be one of those. Yeah, the town of Briar is pretty rural. Any chances there's an apple orchard up there? I'll get right on it. Hmm. Well, I'm guessing as he had a shovel, we're going to need the shovel. Shame to leave the meat cleaver behind, but... Uh, oh, well. Right, where are we going? Ah, oh, this way, I'd assume. All right. Who's up there? Come on. Pansy. Not a handful of guts in the lot of them. Oh, hey, sir. Ooh, we need to work on that aim a little bit there. Just a little bit. Hello. Well. Well, okay then. Won't stop me for long, Sonny Jim. I guess we could go back and get the cleaver, but let's use the shovel. The head flattener. Well, I'm guessing something got him. Something got him big time. Whoa, look at this. This looks fucking cool. 
There's one empty ass swimming pool. Damn. I'm getting such a hit of nostalgia playing this, you know. Really is cool. Hey, buddy. What are you doing back here? Um. Um. Tommy. Snap out of it, buddy. Snap out of it. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, God. Come on, Tommy. Snap the hell out of it. Doesn't have to be like this. Oh, God. Hey, chat. Oh, shit. We're literally drowning in these guys. Fuck off. And you. Me and Head Flattener shall suffice. Ooh, what? That's bullshit. Bullshit. Ooh, snap the neck, snap the neck. Okay. Okay. I think... I think we survived. I think. The hell is that? Why is that? Ooh. Really? Didn't know that was there. Have a frickin' word with yourself, man. My god. Oh well. At least we came out of that with, um... A submachine gun. What submachine gun has a 21 round magazine? I mean, I guess the Thompson had a 20 round magazine, but. Yeah. Well, okay. I'll let you off. Need a fire axe. Hang on, you want me to put this bad boy down? You really want me to put the submachine gun down? Come on, you. Bad luck. You really bothered me for yourself? With a bloody 2x4? Really? God sakes. What a wimp. Now, this is where things could get a little bit delicate. Because technically, we want the submachine gun. Because it's like good and all. Not to say the fire axe isn't good. Fire axe is a delightful weapon. But given our, the amount of health we've got, I'm going to take my chances with a submachine gun. Isn't that right, Thomas? That's right. Oh, well. Wow. Alright then. Sure. I get the feeling, guys, things are going to get a little bit... Ooh. So, I get the feeling that things are going to get a little bit weird. Definitely still getting that feeling. Oh. Oh, it's just a piece of metal. We give no shits about the metal. Well, I guess... I guess this is probably where the action happened. But... Yeah, this must have been where the torturer was actually doing his... Uh, uh, torturing, I suppose. Yes. Smooth. Alright. Uh, let's keep going, Agent. Oh. Nothing to see here, I guess. Ladies, I hope you're all decent. Don't see anybody naked.
Um. Thomas, buddy. And again with the puking. You gotta keep it together, sir. You have a submachine gun in your hand. Whoa. What the fuck? Um. <laughs> Someone's throwing us around like a rag doll. Ooh, hey, Roach. Got some bad roaches. What? What? We got it. There are no currently licensed fruit orchards in the town or the surrounding countryside of Briar. But there was one once. Apple Seed Orchard, just outside of Briar on Route 4. In business for 40 years, but okay. closed its doors just 10 years ago after a tremendous outbreak of apple maggots. The orchard never recovered. Curious, though. County deeds show it's owned by an out-of-state real estate firm. Okay. Can we not use a trophy as a weapon? Okay, how did... Okay, someone just threw us through the fabric of time and space. Huh. Cool. Sure. Oh, hello. What? God damn it. Hmm. So we're actually moving on to chapter... It's chapter 9. This game only has 10 chapters. Interesting. What I'm thinking about doing, we're on 27 minutes now, so I don't suppose there's really much point in starting another chapter. So I'm going to end the video here. When we come back, chapter 9. I wonder what Van Horn wants. Something very, very wrong going on with that particular character. But who knows? Maybe he's a nice guy. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.